This is a Nerd Axe, and this is a 40 by 20 millimeter fan. Very tiny, as you can see by the palm of my hand. Here, we have a replacement for it. The NFA4 by 20 or X20 knocked to a fan. Big old box for such a small fan, and I wanna see if we replace this, will it actually improve thermals? Now, most of the heat coming off of this thing is from the A3 or the Avalon Nano 3. So, will this actually improve thermals? We're gonna go look at the computer, see what it's doing now. It's the peak heat of the day here in Florida. Where are the thermals sitting after 24 hours? Let's talk about that, then swap out the fan. As we can see here, our Nerd Axe is mining away, hashing pretty good, looking at the logs, and the GitHub page, the BitMaker GitHub page, says swapping the fan with the Noctua NF A4 by 10 or X10, five volt, that's specific, don't get the wrong voltage. So it's the five volt one, four pin fan for a much pleasant experience a much more ex pleasant experience but it doesn't tell us if it's going to actually improve thermal so that's the whole point of this video now average of thermals on this particular nerd axe is sitting around i would say 57 to 56 the ac just kicked on here in my house but i've been seeing an average of 57 to 56 with a high of 58 59 during the peak heat here in florida so right now we don't have a graph we have a graph of the hash rate it would be nice to have a graph of the thermals and maybe the fan speed but we don't got that right now, unfortunately. So I'm going to say average of 57 degrees Celsius. Does the Noctua fan actually improve thermals? And on top of that, will the hash rate be a little bit better? We should, we should be around 130, uh, 433, and I think we are doing around that in the 24-hour. But you can see we got some significant dips and dives in between, and that could be impacted by thermals. Maybe replacing a the thermal paste would help us out, but... 57 degrees Celsius is the average I've been seeing over 24 hours. Peaks to 58.59, a low of, as you can see, we just hit it, 54 degrees. And obviously the hash rate dips down, temperatures uh, drop down, but then the hash rate picks back up and temperatures climb up. So swapping out that fan, let's see, once it stabilizes again, what the thermals settle down into. To swap out this fan, there's only two screws holding it in. Now, the Noctua kit does give us these little uh, retainers, rubber retainers that we can use. And look at this big old box for such a small fan. But we do get splitters that I will end up using somewhere else. Now, the GitHub, as we talked about, does say for a more pleasant experience. But they're both 5,000 RPM fans. Now, this one might be a little bit more no noisier because I did get the quiet one. But will it actually improve thermals and improve the hash rate? On this little guy significantly we'll have to wait and see even though locally it's saying it's doing around 484 giga hash we could see online it's only reporting somewhere to 300 so maybe there's an error in the reporting and you can see on here look at that thermals so it says 55 c over here i think we saw 55 c online there it is 56 and i saw a peak of 58 59 during some hotter days and a low of 54 on cooler days or if the hash rate drops significantly so let's see by taking off these two screws one here one here obviously powering down the device first right next to my bubbly champagne that's not champagne what is that sparkling cider all right that was from my son two screws right here let's get those off With that out of the way, we now can see the little heat sink below it. Maybe we could place that heat sink um, at some point in time, but not right now. Make sure to never grab your wires from the connector or from the wire itself. Grab it from the connector. And now let's unpack this and put it on. Inside the box, we get a user manual guiding you through the process, warning you about certain things. We don't really need to worry too much about this. This cable is extra long compared to the stock one. And then here we have our little rubber uh, mounting brackets that we can use. As well as, what the heck is this? Oh, it's the Omni Join Adapter. Which allows you to easily connect this fan to proprietary fan headers. If you want to replace the 40 mil fans on devices. So that's pretty cool. We don't need that for this application. 
And then we got some splitters here, which I might use elsewhere and extenders. And then some uh, normal, you know, fan case screws, none of which we will need, but I will keep all of this handy. We just need to install this guy on the Nerdax. The directional indicator is on the bottom here, so we want it to be a downdraft cooler and blow down into the heat sink. So similar to the stock one, and I might need to arrange it in such a way that this long ass cable isn't getting, um, you know, interfering with anything in particular. Something to note here. The groove or spacing on the original one is a lot bigger than the one on the black one. And not only is one pen bent, but that back part there, the little white section, is going to interfere with the one from the Noctua fan. So just bear that in mind. And when you go to replace the screws, just know that they screw into the heat sink. Try to get them in the same grooves they originally were in, and you should be good. But now let's boot this thing back up and see where the thermals were, or will like to sit, at least. Before we switch over to the computer, I just want to make sure the RPMs are climbing. There they are. We're sitting at 3,400 RPM right now, 35. It was climbing up from 1,000, 1,200, 2,500, so we should continue to climb. And now we just need to let this thing level off and make sure it is a little bit quieter than the stock fan but not too bad and by the way if you want the stock fan model number and everything there you go pause the screen take a picture can't pronounce it but dual ball bearing brush list fan dc 5 volt made in china so after some time for the unit to settle down, we're ranging anywhere between like 540 giga hash to like 369. And that's about par for the course. And even the thermals, like right now it's 56 degrees Celsius. So it's, it's basically no difference. 57 over a 24 hour time frame, it's going to be basically the same thing. So the only difference though is maybe the hash rate's a little bit higher, right? If I calculate over the short time frame, we're sitting around 454, uh, expected 433. Right now, you can see we're below that threshold of expected, sitting like right below 400 giga hash. So the hash rate is better, and the fan is a little bit quieter, but is it worth spending the money to get this fan when the fan that's already coming with the Nerd Axe is perfectly, or even the Bit Axe is perfectly viable? 5,000 RPM, 5 volt, 4 pin PWM, I would probably just stick with the stock fan in my personal opinion especially since these fans cost like 15 bucks on amazon you can probably find it for cheaper elsewhere um again this is the pwm version right here premium quiet fan but then there's a five volt look for five volt in the title pwm about the same price uh but you're gonna need the five volt version not the pwm version just fyi uh, and yeah, I, the stock fan just makes that much more sense this, rather than doing the upgrade considering the gains. We might have reduced the noise. Temperature-wise, it's about the same. Maybe a little bit better hash rate, but for 15 bucks, I'll let you weigh it out in the comment section down below. But that's going to do it for today's video, so please do me a favor on the way out. Hit that like button. Make sure to get subscribed, hit notification button to stay up to date. So let's check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.